Okay, so many times it happens that the patient is on invasive mechanical ventilation and suddenly what happens, the peak pressure on the ventilator starts rising, the tidal volume start decreasing and the patient is not getting ventilated properly. And then you do all the sections and all those things and after doing all those things, you feel that maybe it's an endotracheal tube blockage. You have ruled out the kinking of the tube, the blockage and the, uh, the bronchospasm, everything you have ruled out. But now you think that maybe it's an endotracheal tube blockage. The tube has blocked. So now you do a, a suction catheter and suction catheter also pass easily at times. Um, there is no obstruction. On x-ray, there is no collapse of the lung. Even when you disconnect the ventilator and take on bag and mass ventilation, pretty easily the patient is getting ventilated at times but still when you connect the ventilator again the peak pressures are high and the patient is not getting ventilated and you still feel there is some, some obstruction so the tip is your gut feeling at times is right it may happen that there is a plug or mucus plug or something obstruction or tube is partially or completely blocked but we are not able to pick out on x-rays or suction catheter passes or by another maneuver even by the bronchoscopy also. What happens at times, suppose there is a hole of the brain, uh, tracheostomy tube and the mucus plugs is at the side of the endotracheal uh, tube uh, in lumen. So when the air blows from the above, this mucus plugs give way to the uh, air and the patient get ventilated easily or a little bit with high pressure. But when the uh, patient exhales or uh, when the exhalation expiration comes, it closes the lumen and it acts as a bag and wall sort of thing at the lower end of the endotracheal tube. So there are some case reports are also on this. So the idea is whenever you have gut feeling that the endotracheal tube is blocked, you change it. That's the best way to do it. So uh, next time when you see such a scenario where suddenly the peak pressures are high or the patient is having bronchospasm or the um, uh, tidal volume is not generated, but still you are able to pass the catheter, suction catheter. But still, you are feeling that the endotracheal tube can be blocked. Change it. So it will help you a lot in this in that particular scenario. So this this is very very important. Do read more about it. Thank you.